as a businessman, as an industrialist, as an executive, chief executive. They have to make so many decisions in their life and uh, ups and downs are bound to come. I think in businesses nothing is permanent. I mean, if success is not permanent, good times are not permanent, so are bad times not permanent. Yes, uh, we have been facing a lot of crises, like we are doing more than 60 countries. So every economy, every financial position, every political position of the world affects our daily. Either you are worried about the past or you are anxious about the future. And anxiety and worries bring stress. The competitive environment today of the business uh, puts enormous stress in the executives and they are not able to balance their life. Suddenly my husband had a massive heart attack and he died and overnight the board decided that I should be the chairperson. Being head of a hardcore engineering company scared me. I used to think a lot. I used to be constantly in the past Without knowing at that time, I had made myself quite miserable. Today, business leaders all over um, are perhaps facing one big challenge in terms of how to unlock human potential. Most of the trainings which are available, they give us skill sets to handle the external. And there are no trainings, really effective trainings, available to handle the internal person within us. You see, if we have to have a healthy body, we have to walk every day. We have to eat a balanced diet every day. Only then we can have a healthy body. The same thing if we want to have a healthy mind. For that, we have to do some mental exercise. For mental exercise, what we have to do, that we have to focus our mind. For focusing of our mind that we have to meditate. When you do more and more meditation, the mind becomes calm. The points are very clear what is to be done and what is to be not done. So I just follow that. There is not too much of waste of time and you get uh, good ideas when the mind is concentrated. Vipassana meditation technique helped me reach the deeper layers of my mind and uh, gives me a chance to work at my behavior patterns. I have personally experienced my emotional intelligence improving as I have been practicing Vipassana. I chose to go for Vipassana after his death and it helped me tremendously. And I made me realize that I don't have to keep comparing myself with someone else, but I have to give out my best, whatever that is. What Vipassana does to me is keeps me in the present. And when it keeps you in present, you start enjoying that work you are doing. And that the action becomes very dynamic. And a dynamic action uh, brings positive results. Another very powerful benefit that I find uh, Vipassana playing a role is in terms of developing compassion. So you are so much more tolerant towards other people, you allow for multiple possibilities. And that I think makes the whole process even of decision making, even of dialoguing, much more enriched. One thing which we have done very well is to keep our uh, senior people together. It is because of the Vipassana training that I got that I changed my way of actualizing with them. So therefore, they feel one with me. My top executive team, I sent everybody of them to do a Vipassana camp. Their performance improved, their quality improved, their human relation and behavior and teamwork that improved. So this greatly helped me 
in building up a better team of my management? I think the management programs give you skills and Vipassana gives you wisdom. And the higher you go in the organization, you can hire skill, you cannot hire wisdom. So I think it's unique. One major uh, issue in organizations is how do you align individual goals with organizational purpose? I found my business started increasing. Why? Because my dealings with my staff, with my workers was so cordial. And I took most of my, my staff to Vipassana courses. And the result was that uh, in my industry, say a blanket industry and Perloom, a weaver was manufacturing eight blankets average. It started increasing, 10, 12. One of them took it to 12. It was something unbelievable. Why? Because they also meditated. And I started giving them more and more bonus without their asking even. In one of the divisions, there are 2,000 people working. And more than, more than 1,000 people have already done Vipassana camps. So we allow them leave of 10 days and we also give them salary oh wonderful impact because 1000 meditators within a company within a division where they work together every day so their relationships have substantially improved the quality is improving productivity is improving efficiency is improving rejections are going under control in every way there is a qualitative improvement when one is uh embarking on this path of self-realization it has to be an internal decision somewhere internally it has to click that i need to go on this path and if people can do it in a, on a voluntary basis i think it can have tremendous impact i encourage my employees to take vipassana courses and some of them have including my driver those of my employees who have taken vipassana courses have been performing much better than they were performing earlier and their personal relations with me have improved uh, like nobody's business. Practically everybody in the staff, they do take up Vipassana at some point of time. It does you know, bring in a lot of efficiency, it does bring in a lot of understanding, it does bring in a lot of interpersonal skills also improve by taking Vipassana. If our teamwork improves, our customers are better satisfied, so ultimately it helps in improving our bottle line, it helps in improving our profitability, it helps in uh, improving our market share in the market. So it's a, there is a total corporate benefit. When your thought clarity is clear, you can guide your teams, you can navigate your businesses uh, in the competitive environment much better. My MD was concerned that if he ever went for Vipassana, he would lose that competitive spirit. But I don't think that's what Vipassana tells us. I think we have to go for that order, do everything possible. After doing everything possible, if we still lose, we don't give up. In fact, rise again and try again. Vipassana has uh, increased my concentration, my dedication to work, my concentration to work, my passion to work. And that has really helped me in you know, facing competition. Vipassana is helpful in everyday life of everyone. A year and two months after my husband's death, my 25-year-old son died in a car accident. And I think it was my Vipassana and the practice of meditation on a daily basis which helped me to get over my son's death also, which was far more difficult than my husband's. Any businessman, any housewife, any child, things are not happening to his liking. 
this technique helps you to understand yourself that all the cause is within me whatever is happening in front of me i am responsible now it has reached a situation that anything unwanted happens in life even if it's a major event i'm immediately or as soon as possible within a very short span let me put it that way i'm able to identify okay you know i'm about to get swept away and vipassana helps me to apply the brakes and then come back to my um, balance regain my balance very quickly i used to sometimes generate ill will towards the adversary of my client thanks to vipassana and uh, the practice of it i have been able now to conduct my cases without generating ill will against the adversary of my client i feel that i am um, different from what i would perhaps have been if i had not been exposed to vipassana meditation we can't we can't measure it uh, quantitatively but qualitatively i believe it has made a difference to me there were uh, uh, several crises in my uh, life in business but that is enough to say that uh, i came out of those crises because of vipassana without uh, creating hatred towards others i've seen various people who are very wealthy but not happy in life so vipassana actually teaches you how to be happy with wealth vipassana is the only thing which i am doing for myself which brings me back to myself that's the only thing the rest of the things are for somebody else and that somebody else i include my ego my my hunger my desire my materialistic requirement which never gets fulfilled many of uh, us have read about steven covey his first habit to be proactive which says that every human being has the choice to choose their response to any stimulus but it was only vipassana which taught me how to get into that space between stimulus and uh, react, our response and act on it there is a difference between action and reaction action you do with a positive mind with a balanced mind to understand things and reaction you do without understanding things and you get angry you shout so th those things don't help vipassana makes a person freed from various kinds of reactions reactions sap our energy like anything and once you are freed from it you become highly creative nobody wants to harm oneself out of ignorance one keeps on harming oneself and harming others vipassana helps to come out of this wrong habit there are many occasions in business where you can go off track as far as ethics are concerned in making money it makes uh, it makes you greedy sometimes but when you are doing vipassana you make money but also take care of your own ethics why is vipassana making me honest because it is just the qualities that this technique brings out in a person and it's not because of a self restraint that has been put on by me it's just it becomes a kind of a natural phenomena of life purification of mind is good for you and good for others my anger level has reduced my tolerance and patience patience have increased these are the positive qualities they help me to take a very rational decision even in difficult times even when the things are against me so this has generated goodwill people or people also respond in the similar way it's what gives me balance in my life in fact uh, not me alone my children my family my wife is a meditator it has helped us live more harmoniously in life in the family then perhaps it would have been principle of uh, vipassana is that you 
do for yourself for family but at the same time you must realize that you have got a lot from society and you must return it to the society as far as possible slowly and slowly with doing vipassana the quality of greed starts getting evaporated and you start taking decisions without that greed behind you and there is a there is a very beautiful aspect and then you're going to start taking decisions for the welfare of the others also the beauty of vipassana is it has nothing to do with any sect or any religion or or any any kind of sectarianism it is for all vipassana is nothing but a universal truth and therefore no matter whether you're a you know a westerner or a easterner or a whatever you are it should work for you i think vipassana has a very major role to play it doesn't demand any belief system it doesn't demand that you read you know tomes of literature to get the hang of it it's just making a 10 day investment it is difficult to take out time but i have come to believe that i must take out time if i have to have a long term benefit time is precious and valuable and more so when it comes to the top level management but if somebody can be convinced to go there i personally feel that 10 days though initially it looks to be very difficult but it is very useful it is worth investment precious time has to be spent on precious things i can say with guarantee if you come and learn this technique properly there is no question that it, it should not help you your strain your stress is so much competition around it will definitely help i suggest that every businessman must do vipassana meditation and not only for himself he should send all his top and senior executives initially and thereafter at different levels of the organization it will help him greatly in improving his business as well as happiness if you want to catch a butterfly and you are very agitated and you run after it chances are it will run away from you but if you just sit still maybe it will come and sit on your shoulder similarly in life in business if you think if you are always agitated always on the go will win i think if you learn to just reflect sit back meditate maybe maybe we'll be more successful this is the best investment i could make as a businessman <laughs>